Tisibius is a figure who is often forgotten in history, yet his work paved the way for a technical revolution, the measurement of time. Yet Tisibius came from humble beginnings. He was the son of a simple barber. As a young man, he had worked in his father's barber shop in Alexandria, inventing simple gadgets such as adjustable mirrors. And here he was surrounded by the constant dripping of water, which would inspire his great invention. Decebius knew that for thousands of years, the Egyptian had used ordinary water timers to mark the hours of the day. The famous Karnak water clock is one example. It is a vessel which was filled with water, and as it drained out through a spout at the bottom, the time could be read as the level dropped. Markings inside showed the passing hours and allowed the ancient Egyptians to measure the passing of time during the day or night. But this was still only a timer, known in Greek times as a klepsidra, not a constant clock. As the water level dropped, the water came out more slowly. Tisibius, however, saw the solution. He realized that if the vessel was always full, then the water pressure outflow would always be the same. If he could master that, he knew he could create an accurate device which would change the world. This then was the challenge he decided to set himself. Tisibius saw that the way to simplify the Egyptian clepsydra was not to utilize outflow of water, but to try and obtain a uniform inflow of water. The challenge was to keep the reservoir of the clepsydra full at all times. And this is how Tisibius did it. First, he added another water tank above the main reservoir. This poured water into the top faster than it could flow out, meaning the reservoir was always full, and any excess water could just run off into an overflow container. The water would always come out of the reservoir at the same speed. Now Tisibius just had to measure it. To do this, he decided to put another water tank under the constant outflow. In this container, he placed a float with a pointer on top and a scale next to it. When the level of the water rose, the pointer rose at a constant speed. It was a stroke of genius. Tisibius had created the world's first mechanical clock, thanks to the dripping water in a barber's shop. He had harnessed the power of water, and in the process, he had become the master of time. But measuring hours and minutes was only the start. What else could this unique water clock do? The answer to that was kept here in the Great Library of Alexandria. Anyone in the ancient world wanting to understand time could come here and read Tisibius's books, which describe the wonderful machines he was now building and the whole new subject he had invented, hydraulics. Before long, his clocks were not just dripping taps, but ornate machines decorated with gilded figures of gods and animals. And their mechanics were yet more elaborate too. He devised a complex scale for the hours, shown here in white for the day and blue for the night. The increasingly complicated series of gear wheels also allowed the scale to rotate very slowly to indicate the days within each month of the year. This clock was also now a calendar. Automatic day and night, month and year, cuckoo clock. 